One man is back in police custody after he broke free from officers as he was heading to jail. It happened downtown in the area of 14th and Locust. KMC 9's Keisha Henry was there with police when they tracked down the suspect. Well, that search for Daryl Hunter took an hour and a half, and it all started right across the street here at 2:30 at the Jackson County Detention Center. In that hour and a half, Daryl Hunter didn't make it very far. He made it all the way across the street, right over here to this garden. This is where KCPD officers and a canine officer finally were able to hunt him down. Now, take a look at this video that we captured from earlier. Daryl escaped from an independence officer's custody as he was being transported to the Jackson County Detention Center for a felony stealing. Charge. KCPD tells us he was right at the entrance when he got loose, still wearing those handcuffs. Now, police dogs, just like Roscoe, they searched for him for an hour and a half before they finally caught up to him. And he was covered in scratches and bite marks by the time that they were finally able to arrest him again. Now, we did ask Daryl why he ran, and he actually told us he did not run. He said, quote, I was just trying to go to jail. And then he told us, Tell my girlfriend Rachel that I love her. Hi, Rachel, I love you. Now, again, this right here is the garden just behind the Sprint Center where Daryl Hunter was finally captured. KCPD officers tell me it was their canine dog, Roscoe, that actually chased him down and bit him in order to capture him. Now, if you were watching us at 4 o'clock, it all played out live right here on KNBC, and I was a little bit out of breath. That's because we heard KCPD officers running down this walkway, yelling and screaming, running as fast as they could to try to get to Daryl. We chased after them, and that's how we were able to capture that video. Reporting in downtown Kansas City, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News.